We're at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight Sheboygan South hosts Crosstown rival Sheboygan North. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, it wasn't much of a game uh, first time around. Hopefully it'll be a little better tonight. Well, you got a, a team in Sheboygan South that's basically rebuilding. They've gone very, very young. Tyler Thomas got a, a very young squad. In fact, they only got two seniors on their whole team. Sheboygan North, very battle tested. They played some very tough opponents leading up to this. Though they're fourth or fifth in their league, I mean, they 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 got a nice outfit there, and they're a year ahead of the Sheboygan South girls who are basically just freshmen. I think one of the things that the success for South rests on is their ability to handle pressure, and uh, their main guard for doing that is Nicole Rubley. Yeah, and she's going to have to lead. I mean, it's a very young squad, and Tyler Thomas has been very positive in the paper and talking to him a little bit about how his team has been improving all year, but Cole's something just a junior. She's going to be here for a couple years to bring these young kids along. One of the things that South has been able to do is stay in the games a little longer. They had the lead actually at Plymouth the other night before they lost it, uh, but that's still not good enough. Yeah, they're, they're two and 10, and you know, it's one of those things that are you know, getting better every week, and that's how you're gonna have to you know, proceed with a very young squad. Playing in this big house in your own place, you know, girls are gonna get a little bit nervous, but like you said, they, they play got one game already. We'll see how they improve tonight. Now Sheboygan North has uh, pretty good talent and they like the pressure to ball and that's really what caused South the problems. What do you think North will do tonight? Nothing different. And uh, it's hard to believe that Alyssa Conway and Mickey Bordeaux are seniors already. It's hard, you know, it seems like way back when they were sophomores, they came up and contributed and now they're seniors already. They got a very nice sophomore class to go along with them, but you're not going to see anything but pressing from uh, Coach uh, Runnis' team. All right, now that the band has stopped, we'll stop too. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. So, April. Yeah? You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors expose cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today, and with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. If you're looking for a way to earn some extra cash, why not become a census taker for the 2010 census? These temporary part-time jobs offer good pay and flexible hours, working in your own community. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Call our toll-free jobs line or go online to get started. Apply today to be a census taker. Call 1-866-861-2010 or visit www.2010censusjobs.gov. You said. Yeah, come on, you promised. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice.
South High School, North High School, and the WIA. We good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at education-based interscholastic events. We request your cooperation in supporting the participants and officials. Profanity, racial, sexist, or ethnic comments, or other intimidating or taunting actions will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the site of competition. Please enjoy the game in a positive manner. And now, the starting lineups first, for Sheboygan North, Golden Raiders. Okay, we're going to go with Sim Sapper and his announcement 10, of the starting lineups. Alyssa Conway. <laughs> Senior, number 14, Jenna Lacey. <laughs> Senior, number 34, Mickey Bordeaux. <laughs> Junior, number 40, Nicole Maletsky. And senior, number 44, Abby Fairman. The Golden Raiders are coached by Susie Runnis. And now for your starting lineups for your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. Junior, number five, Runnis. Nicole Rubley. Freshman, number 10, Molly Burkhard. Sophomore, number 12, Caitlin Pleckelman. Senior, number 21, Andrea Spiesla. And freshman, number 22, Kara Selk. Red Wings are coached by Tyler Thomas. Hey, Tonight's see, officials, the, Steve uh, Steiner right and side. Russ Mueller. Officials tonight are uh, Steve Steiner and Russ Miller. Uh, we ran into them over at uh, Christian High when we did the uh, Lutheran Christian game a few weeks ago. You see the brain trust for uh, the Red Wings. Puzzlewitz not in the starting lineup, number 13. There you see her with the uh, armband. Leading score for uh, South at eight points a game, so that hurts. Certainly does. You make a younger team even younger. The other uh, strong point about Jaslyn's game is she's an offense or uh, a very good rebounder. She uh, averages just over seven rebounds per game and they're gonna miss, miss her in that respect also. Uh, South comes in with, uh, pardon me, North comes in with a little bit of a smaller lineup but they're extremely quick and that's, uh, that's their game is uh, quickness on the outside and try to create turnovers. Spiesla jumping against uh, Fairman and uh, South Controls. North and a man to man defense. Heavy action today. We started at uh, 9 o'clock this morning with freshman games and uh, continued on through the afternoon with the JVs and now this evening with the varsity action. Kick out, Spiesla's shot is off, no good. And we're gonna get a jump ball called. Held ball. Held ball, that's right, it's no longer a jump ball, it's a held ball. I knew that. We've had these officials many, many, many times over the years. They're good ones. South uh, applying full court pressure, Chris, that's interesting. Shot off the glass is no good by Maletsky. No, Tyler's not real deep. Uh, it's interesting that he's gonna be pressing. Hopefully that won't backfire up for him. Fairman commits the foul. Well, I think they're gonna probably just believe in a system and this is what we're gonna teach and uh, for years to come, this is how we're gonna play. And uh, might as well get him going now. That's what you're going to do. Good pressure applied by North. Pluckelman has it on top, taking it to the basket. Her layup is off, no good. And contact underneath the basket. I believe that foul is gonna go on South. Well, two good looks for South. Just didn't put it in the hole. No. A nice runner too on that uh, last shot. Conway has it. Being guarded by Pluckelman. 
almost loses it and does. South uh, pressure creating turnovers. Rubley on a nice pass underneath. Shot is no good by Burkhart. And then a shot is blocked by Maletsky. And another whistle. That foul is going to go on Nicole Rubley. You know, we had talked about Nicole and her ball handling, uh, how important that would be for the ball game. She's hardly touched the ball so far, Chris. Fairman will uh, throw it in for the uh, Lady Raiders. Conway gets it in the middle of the floor, which is always a good idea against a press. Outside three-pointer is good by Jenna Lacy. I saw her, some of the brothers in the uh, stands, Jenna's brothers. South just committing too many quick fouls here. It's what you talked about, Marty. They're not very deep, and already they got three fouls in two well, minutes. That's going to go on Abby Fairman, Chris, and that's her second foul. Each team sitting with uh, two team fouls. Oh, that's just not. Oh. Yeah, it was against. Uh, so the fouls are even, but uh, oh, I was wrong there. Yep, it won't be the first time. <laughs> oh, great drive and a layup by Caitlin Pluckelman, sophomore. Letsky taking it down the lane, and then she's fouled. Pluckelman will pick up that foul. That's the third foul. <laughs> yeah. The only good thing about that, Chris, is they got three different players with fouls. Yep. <clears throat> Letsky at the line, shooting, shooting a pair. That free throw makes it four to two. North on top with uh, 5.47 remaining in the first quarter. Not much flow to the game so far, Chris. Too many nope. fouls called. A good, off, a good hustle on the floor by South Kara Selk. She wanted it more than the North player did. Kara Salk, one of those freshmen, obviously a very familiar name for girls basketball here at South. Her sister Amy is a sophomore at Parkside. They're uh, 16 and three this year, and uh, she's averaging about six points a game. Rubley's pass is stolen. Drive to the basket, shot is no good by Morgan Paris, but she's fouled, she'll be shooting a pair. Morgan, an outstanding softball player as well, Marty. She's just got a rocket for an arm. I can't remember the name of the girl. She's a North High JV player, number 22. Had a great arm. She threw a couple of full-length passes. Morgan played on the softball team as a freshman last year. <laughs> well, she uh, she's a good one, and. Uh, only a sophomore now. Yep. Getting meaningful playing time at the varsity level for basketball. Knocks home a pair. I was looking at the, the sheet from last time these two teams played, and North had some huge runs. Turnover by uh, South gives North the ball back. They had a 16-point run ending the first quarter and then going into the second quarter, and that pretty much uh, sewed up the game for... Uh, the Northsiders. Well, I saw it was 49 to 14 at halftime. At halftime, uh, Coach Koopman was here uh, last time. I had a wedding for Brandon McGee, one of my former players. So tried to catch the tail end, but the games went so fast that I didn't get to see any of it. Turnaround jump shot is sweet by Maletsky. Just three minutes in here, it's eight to two. Seems like South's doing okay. They just couldn't make early baskets. Now, son, it's a six-point lead. Eight-footer in the lane is no good by Burkhart. South able to keep the possession. Three-point attempt is no good. A scoop shot is no good by Schaefer. 
North on the bust out. Conway knocked to the floor after her shot is missed. She'll go to the line shooting a pair. It's cold shooting for South. Uh, Jaslyn Puzzowitz in the game, Chris. That's yep. a good sign. At least she's able to get out there. Yep. They're just one of eight, Marty, to start. Yeah, it's... Uh, then committing fouls on this and five. You saw fouls. something worse on Wednesday, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the Badger game. Yeah, oh, yeesh, yeesh. It's there with uh, Larry Brand, the principal at Cooper School. I want to thank Larry for taking me that day, but uh, took a, at least a couple days off my stress of my <laughs> life when the Badgers can't put the ball in. I, I'm, I have this thing about going to Badger games and them losing, so I felt very bad. Another turnover. Very bad when it was 39-30. <laughs> I can just imagine what it was like for my good friend Glenn Hopertzelzer. <laughs> He's sitting there watching the game. Edie had to go in the other room and watch it. <laughs> it was 39-30. I, I turned to Mr. Brahan and I said, boy, maybe it's me. But uh, the Badgers fought back. Seven-point run for uh, the Northsiders, and they've got the lead at 10-2. Rolling down to uh, 420 left in the first quarter. Shot is off, no good by Lacey. And the ball is saved by Bordeaux. Puzzwitz drive to the basket. We're gonna get a foul on Norris Jenna Lacey. Grabbing the arm of Puzzwitz. North's not much better from the field, Marty. They're doing a lot of their damage at the free throw line. They right. Half the points there and half of them are baskets. It's only been three baskets in the whole game. Cernicky kicks it into Spiesel and she rolls it in. See, yeah. I say something and it finally changes. And that stops the North run. Kick out three pointer is no good by Paris and she's fouled. Not a good foul by Spiesla. And that's her second foul. One of the senior leaders may see some pine time. Coach Thomas not taking her out just yet. And uh, that foul happened after the shot. Yep. Normally that's three free throws. Exactly. I see uh, Gary Doherty's here. Tanner will be playing in the next game. Kick out three point attempt is no good by Norris Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner having a nice year. She's averaging 9.8 points per game. North with the steal. Basket is up and good by Conway. Turnovers are a mountain. And we get a whistle and a quick foul. As are the fouls. Foul's gonna go on Conway. 10 fouls in five minutes. See, last time, Marty, you guys were done by about 10 after 9. 9.20, something like that. Oh, boy. We might, this Ray, we're going to be here a while. South has six falls. So far, North will be in the bonus before the end of the first period. A good try. And then North turns it right back over. Or do they? No, I guess not. It was a good pass attempt by uh, Kimberly Weirman, Wyman, pardon me, but uh, her teammate Puzzowitz was not able to handle it. Well, it looked like, you know, she'd made the mistake of not looking up the floor right away because Puckelman was wide open under the basket and uh, just a missed opportunity for the Lady Red Wings. North working the perimeter south in a zone right now. It's like a 1-3-1. Conway from outside the line nails it. 15 to four. A good save attempt. And then we get a foul on Molly Burkhart. Well, it's starting to get away from the Southsiders. Timeout maybe, yep. 
Full time out called by Tyler Thomas and uh, the Lady Red Wings are going to talk things over. We'll take a short break and be right back. Bujak, Mariama, Daham Mangonyo Wah. Back at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, and there you see Tom Burr on the right. And uh, I can't remember her name, the girl on the on the left, but she's the JV basketball coach for uh, Sheboygan South. And uh, they ended up losing this afternoon. They did play a pretty good game. They lost uh, to North, 43-30. to In uh, freshman action, Tom Burr's team uh, wound up dropping their game to uh, Sheboygan North. Uh, Allison Last, Cromarty. Leslie is, Laster. Uh, Allison Laster. Cromarty is the coach for the North freshman. Free throw attempt is no good by Lizzie Free. Alyssa Conway has seven points so far in the game. Oh boy. And she might be getting her eighth and ninth. Oh, she's got to finish. And Pluckelman with the foul. Chris, that's not a good foul for her. Now she has two. Seven turnovers now for South. That matches their fouls. You know, and they started off so good, you know, getting shot attempts, balls won't go in, but then the turnover bug has really hit. Conway was two for two until that miss. North on top, 15 to four. There's 2.17 remaining in the first quarter. And uh, Coach Runnis getting a lot of players in the ball game tonight. As is South. They've, I got nine people with stats already for them. Oh, not a good pass by Puzzowitz. And it's gonna be a held ball. Do you remember back when they used to jump ball on all hell balls? Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Talk about long games. Matty Bauer in the game for North. Conway open from inside the line. Her shot is no good. And a travel called on Matty. Heavy action underneath the basket to get open by Emily Schaefer. South of the good job that time, Chris, of breaking pressure. Yep, Wyman was wide open again underneath the basket. And again, good hustle by the Raiders. And uh, not picked up by Sheboygan South. Lisa Werner, number 22, is getting ready to check in. That last foul was on Morgan Paris. Puzzlewitz at the line. Nice release that time by Jaslyn. Got that free throw in. Piers winning the league this year. They are outstanding again. They're 7-0, 13-0. Pulaski in both boys and girls is in second place. The pier in both boys and girls leads it as well. Pulaski and Bayport are tied for the boys. Second place. Pulaski's a basketball town. Paris gets the roll. 17 to six. North on top. We could almost call that a triple team. North really putting the pressure on. Let me see Coach Runnis. Had a very good run at North.
<laughs> you better get out of the way. <laughs> Burkhart uh, doing the toss in chores. Boy, oh boy. They are just hounding the daylights out of the ball. Yep. Good help defense, and it's off a south player. Oops. North will get it back. There's one minute and one second left in the first quarter. North with 17 points already, and they lead it 17 to six. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the ball game. Deep one by Paris is no good. And tipped out of bounds by Lisa Werner. South will get it. About 20 minutes following this ball game will be the uh, varsity boys. A double header. Still a lot of room for uh People here today. Yeah, kick it back out. Schaefer's shot is no good. She's knocked to the floor after the shot. No call. And uh, South, whenever North takes a three, they're right on them. South uh, really hustling on the defense, but uh, the turnovers are what's, what's hurting the Lady Red Wings. Much better job again against the press. But they Molly. don't attack against the press. The ball is tipped away. North has it. And then uh, Schaefer, Salzbrenner, pardon me, gets fouled. <laughs> Lauren Salzbrenner will go to the line to shoot the one and one. Kara Selk on the foul, that's her first. This uh, is gonna be a long second quarter, Chris, with uh, North already in the bonus. And um, I tell you, if North wouldn't have got the steal, they'd have got the violation on the 10 seconds. 5.5 seconds remaining. Like South is in a zone defense. Launch it. Shot is no good at the buzzer by Lizzie Free. And at the end of one quarter play, North on top, 17 to 6. And you just don't know which way to turn. Security benefits online. USA.gov. Our list of jobs will put you on cloud nine. USA.gov. Shop auctions for a used minivan anytime. USA.gov. It's government made easy. For the people. USA.gov. He passed away last year. It was hard at first. When I found out how sick he was, the doctor suggested hospice care. At home, hospice helped so much. He came home, and that was wonderful. They helped me take care of him. They made his last months comfortable, pain-free. We were able to find some joy till the very end. Back in uh, oh, 2002, Aubrey Koistra, Aaron Sorensen, and Andy Prislin uh, were very instrumental in uh, the success that South had and in the book here, well, at least when we did those those games for uh, South during that time, we called those three guys the A-team. And uh, the infringement from South High <laughs> comes in this little booklet they mention about Aubrey and Aaron and Andy and mention them as being the A-team. Well, <laughs> that originated with uh, TV8 back yeah. in the day. Yep. Uh, Aubrey was first team all area that year. Aaron Sorensen was uh, second team all area and hit 73s at a 46% clip. 
And he shoots about 70 against us, too, <laughs> nowadays on Fridays. Uh, Danny Moyer would have liked to see Aaron a little more often, too, in an A's uniform. He was quite a pitcher. I was talking about And Aubrey can still I light mean, it up Aubrey, with us old that's guys. That's what I meant. Aubrey, <laughs> Aubrey can shoot. Well, I can shoot, too. I just don't <laughs> make them like he does. Shot from the wing is no good by Werner. Thirteen footer is off, no good for South, and Salzbrenner comes away with it. Well, in the first game, North had eleven players score, and the way they're going right now, they could have with all the players they're playing, they could get a lot of contribution again tonight. Shot is uh, not even going to count. Shuffling the feet was Maddie Bauer. Kind of got herself in a bad position. South. Two of 11 from the floor, but they have 12 turnovers, Marty. Yeah, that's not going to win basketball games that way. Paris, Maletsky, and Lacey all check in for uh, the Northsiders, and then committing the foul at half court is Lisa Werner. Probably going to need a couple extra discs tonight in the uh, truck. Yeah, really? At the length of this one so far. Well, that, I had that as fall number seven. They only got it number six up on the board. Of course, I'm one short on the south side, so you know what happened. Oh, boy. Oh, right. Jump stop. Well, and they're going to call Trat. Oh, no, that's a good call. She did get pushed. Lizzie Free uh, tried to uh, clear the defense away. She should have just went up for the layup. Rubley commits uh, her third fall. That was the one I was missing. Nolan's in the house. Nolan doing an outstanding job at Whitewater. They're uh, hey, how often does that happen where you come in as a freshman and all of a sudden you're a starter? Yep, and they're uh, in college. Yep, tough loss the other day at Eau Claire, I believe it was, if I remember right. But, uh, he's doing quite well, leading a top five program. There, it's just a uh, well, of the Division three. Conferences yep, yep. in the area, that is the toughest one. Yep. Which makes it even more impressive. Yeah. And coming off the bench a little bit more of late, but uh, still very. Uh, Contributing. A lot of minutes. North in his own defense. Pluckelman from outside the line. Hey. Got it in. That was the first three-point basket for uh, the Southsiders and a quick timeout. By South. Uh, suppose we get too far here, we also mentioned Kayla Tetchlog over at UWGB having an outstanding year. Uh, she's 106th in the country in scoring, Marty. Uh, averaging about 16 a game. Unfortunately for the uh, Lady Phoenix, they lost to Loyola of Chicago the other day by two points. Uh, Loyola, Chicago, I looked them up on the internet, and I think uh, with that win, that makes them only 10 and nine, ten and 8 on yep. the season. You know, it's yep. not like they were... First lost by the Lady Phoenix, who were ranked 14th in one poll and 17th another, and uh, they have no seniors on their team, and they're ranked in the top, you know, 15. we got to read country. this number one thing here from 1960 when South High first existed. Shared the conference crown with West and, and Appleton. That's when Appleton was one school. Tom Puzowitz was named all, comp, all first team. And honorable mention, Gary Azukas and Bud Wright? Yeah. Is that your dad? Yeah. At least he could play. <laughs> I didn't know that. My dad never said much about those things, and uh, I didn't know that until I just read that. <laughs> I know they, he played on a, the state team in 59, but I didn't realize he was an all-conference player. Puzzlewitz for two. And uh, that would have been when they were still at, or the last year actually, at Central. Yep, and they uh, had a very good team that year. They got upset to go to state. Shot by Bordeaux is no good, and then it goes off the hands of Jenna Lacey. That's, that 60 team, I guess, was outstanding. Kind of similar to what happened in 63 uh, following that state team. 62, they had an outstanding team. 
As in 83 when... Uh, by the, Well, you know this, of course, but our, our viewers wouldn't know this. Bud Wright is uh, coaching basketball over at my old school at Jefferson. He's yep. got about four or five, maybe five or six years in now. Yep, doing fifth grade. Yep. And uh, he's done a good job with them. I mean, they're winning basketball games and uh, playing well and showing good sportsmanship, which is always important. Well, both teams have gotten kind of cold here from the floor. It allows us to do more talking. I like <laughs> that. <laughs> Paris commits the foul, her second. Now both teams will be in the bonus. Stepping to the line is Ma Molly Burkhart. Norse just shooting 33% from the floor currently. They're not doing much better from the floor. Get this thing under double digits, closer to uh, five yeah, points. Yeah, stay in the game. You never know what can happen later on. I mean, look at Connecticut today. Jason Lederman coming into the He's just making shop. sure we're all behaving up here. Yep. South High Athletic Director. Been here since early, early this morning. Putting in a good uh, probably 14-hour day by the time he gets out there. 13, 14-hour day. Big free throws. I heard when he gets home tonight, he's making supper. <laughs> Conway on a dish off. Lacey's shot is no good. Puzzlewitz comes away with the rebound. Jaslyn playing a lot of minutes, Chris, so we were led to believe that she wouldn't be playing much due to injury, but uh, she's out there. Andrea Spieslove for two. South crawling back in, down by six, little run. 21 to 15. Rolling down to uh, the four minute mark. Inside, Maletsky's turn around is up and in. She breaks the run. It was a six point run by South to get back in the ball game. Bordeaux, layup is good. You know, South was, couldn't be pressed because North wasn't making baskets. Now all of a sudden, he makes some baskets and here comes the press and a couple. Oh, that was a good fall. Oh, you get her for a travel. I don't know about that. Good idea by Conway to get it up the floor to Bordeaux, but uh, she gets called for the travel and says I was held. And I think I believe her. Bad place to be. You and I know this, but our viewers might know Conway was a guest announcer several years ago. Oh yeah, over at the old Raider gym. That was back in the day, pre-field house. Runner, right on cue, but she didn't make the basket. Puzzowitz. Nice screen. Jump shot in the lane is good. Nice screen there. 25 to, I'm sorry, 25 to 17. And timeout by Sheboygan North. 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Well, the same before, you had 11 turnovers for South in the first quarter. Basically because after made baskets by North, they're pressing. You don't make baskets, you can't press. So uh, all of a sudden things change a little bit when you put the ball in the hole. And that now should be an incentive to play better defense. <laughs> We're up to uh, 16 turnovers now for South, but uh, North's not taking care of the ball much better there at seven. Uh, actually, I don't think that's too bad to you, don't you? I mean, if you get, well, yep. think of it this way, if you, I, I think they'll have more than seven by the end of the half, but. Everybody's walking down to this end. Somebody needs to go down to the other end and throw it in bounds. It's kind of like in the hall. All they do is chat, you know. <laughs> Focus. Conway being guarded by Schaefer. Cutter Maletsky in the lane. Pushing hard to the basket, her shot off the glass is no good, and Puzzowitz with another rebound. 25-17, 
South, uh, like Chris mentioned before, is playing a lot better. Yep. And they get Puzzlewitz for a travel. Well, thought she took one too over. many. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Conway, great play. Taking it to the hoop. And turnover, Boletsky over to Bordeaux. Shot is good, and she's fouled by Puzzlewitz. Conway had eight in the first game. She's got nine already. Puzzlewitz with her second foul. For Bordeaux, that's her first points of the evening. Pardon me, that's her second basket. She's looking for point number five right here. She got it. 30 to 17, what was a six point ball game all of a sudden has jumped out to an 11 point or 13 point lead for the Lady Raiders. And uh, you really nailed it, Chris, when you said uh, after made baskets, the ability to press. They call that a held ball also, Chris? Yep. So the possession arrow changes back to north. Ooh. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I disagree with you, Chris. Did she take off in the? She caught it on, on her side, and then when she went to dribble, she backstepped okay, over the Okay, then line. I will agree. I thought she caught it half and half. But now you got to understand, you're talking about talking to an umpire here. They can't see. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what you tell me when I'm wearing blue. Whoa, threw it right out of bounds. Not a good pass. Lacey. Not having the best to have so far. She started off the ball game with a uh, three point basket. Uh, North has led ever since. South closed to three to two and then North went on a uh, five, seven point run and uh, since then they've always had the lead. Well it was 21 to 16, correct? That's right, yeah, South Out. closed the but uh, now they haven't played quite as yep. well. Nine to one here on a run. Two Bordeaux, minutes good left. Hustle. Oof. Right down the lane on a scoop shot was Schaefer. She gets fouled, she'll be shooting a pair. Minute 45 in the half. Maletsky commits her first foul of the ball game. Under two minutes, I think Chris might have mentioned that. In that first quarter, North started off making five of six free throws, only finished five of nine. Here in the second quarter, they're three for three, so they've made uh, eight out of 12, which isn't too bad. South hasn't missed yet from the free throw line. Made all five. And ball is tipped out of bounds by the Lady Red Wings. Kerry Kautzer and Scott Mayloff in the truck directing and running the graphics. Eric Wiesman and Steve Reiner on the cameras tonight. <laughs> we were talking to Tom Burr before the game and he was talking about, uh, you know, he's lost a lot of freshmen to the different levels, you know, and, uh, but his girls have been playing good. You know, he's getting the most out of what he has, which is really all you can ask for as a coach. And I think uh, Kautzer and Mailoff do the same thing with us. They're getting the most out of us. <laughs> even though they don't have a lot to work with. <laughs> Puzzlewitz on a nice spin move, but uh, couldn't get the layup to go. Sal strong on the offensive boards. Burkhart shot no good, and they just keep battling inside. Finally, there's a foul called on North. Tyler Thomas standing up on the sideline, cheering his team for the great effort they gave on that possession. 
Kimberly Wyman shooting the one and one. Five shots there, Marty, at the basket. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, free throws are keeping them in the ball game. They're not making many baskets. Thirty to twenty-one. South within nine. Skip pass, and then a pass out to uh, Bordeaux, and her three-pointer is no good. And South with the rebound, Puzzlewitz again. Maddie Bauer commits the foul. foul. Puzzles will get two. South is now in the super bonus. Go. They had eight in a row until that miss. 35.5 seconds remaining until halftime. I think it's important she gets this in. Uh, but battle on the floor. South is tied up. Maddie, uh, pardon me, Mickey Bordeaux tying up Puzzowitz and uh, Jaslyn coming in out of the ball game. Deet's coming in for Puzzowitz because she's got two fouls. Those are two big free throws again. Yeah, you're could, right, Chris. Could have cut that deficit you know, down to about seven. Now North with the ball and 25 seconds left has a chance to get over double digits. Bordeaux eyed it up but didn't shoot it. Salzbrenner does the same thing. Down to 15 seconds. Bordeaux pull up shot is off. Rebound shot is off. Five seconds left. And that shot will be no good. And it won't even count. We're at halftime here at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. South playing a good ball game and remaining tough with Sheboygan North, but the uh, Lady Raiders do lead it, 30 to 21. Hi, I'm Reed Swanson. Racing has been a part of me and my family for as long as I can remember. I had to make tough choices early on to get to the top. It took hard work and dedication, but it's those tough choices that helped me prepare for challenges I would face as a cup driver. Make the right choices today and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force.
account of everyone living in the United States. It's an important job and you could be a part of it. As a census taker, you earn good pay and work flexible hours, following up in person with those who didn't return their census forms. Call our toll-free job line or go online to get started. Apply today to be a census taker. Call 1-866-861-2010 or visit www.2010censusjobs.gov. Hi. I'm Rochelle Lefebvre, and this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did, adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Sometimes, I want more information about what's in a video game. Now, there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information yes. about the ratings and rating summaries, go to okay. esrb.org well, slash mobile. Sector's clear, Captain. Seems that way. But they're here. We have an intruder. I thought you guys were cleaning out here. Oh, we are. We're, um, sweeping. Yeah, for space aliens. Yeah, for space aliens. Well, good luck with that. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. Uh. Story from the 60s. Back in uh, ninth, and this is one I've told already, but back in 1963, South finished third in the Fox River Valley Conference. Uh, John Sinella scored uh, 24 points while defeating the North Raiders in uh, one of the Crosstown games. It was a 71-55 North win. But uh, the big game, the one that I remember, and the real story from the 60s was uh, the Appleton Terrors came to Sheboygan and played South, and uh, big John Sinellis had 12, 46 points that night, Chris. Uh, he just couldn't miss, and uh, he had a real knack for like about a 10 to 12 footer. He had such a soft touch for a you know, great big bulky lineman type guy. But uh, that was one of the key highlights from 1963. How many threes did he hit? Not a one. They didn't have three point shots back then in high school. Uh, back in 1962, one year before that happened, uh, when John was just a uh, junior, North tied for first in the Valley, beating North 66-47. They went through the regionals and the sectionals with victories and went on to state. They beat uh, Lacrosse Central in the first game, 64-63. Uh, I remember listening to that game on the radio. Very exciting. And then uh, they ended ball. up losing the next game and uh, ended up taking fourth place. That's when they used to play the losers played off. They yep. don't do that anymore. And, uh, that fall they were the state football champs. Yep, in 63. Or was it 62? Would have been 62. A ball is stolen away by Conway. Fakes a pass to Bordeaux and lays it up and in. What a move. Bordeaux is saying, I could have done that, just give me the ball. That's turnover number 20, Marty, for South. Yeah, they just shot 6 of 19, and that was 20 turnovers. Make it uh, not quite 22. Puzzowitz uh, starting the second half, that's good to see. So she's uh, able to play. South also, or excuse me, North is now uh, 11 of 30 from the floor. Three-point attempt is uh, no good by Fairman. It's 32 to 21, North on top. South hanging in there uh, in the paper mentioned how Tyler Thomas thought his team was playing better and uh, staying in games. They haven't been able to pull a lot of them out. They did beat uh, Southwest uh, about a week ago. So 
So it isn't like they haven't won any ball games since then, but uh, they've been playing better, and that's, you know, as a coach, that's about all you can look for, I guess. Hopefully you can win some ball games along the way. South back in a man-to-man. -man. Fairman's three-point attempt is short. Stolen by Conway, and then she's shoved by Pluckelman. And uh, another turnover by the Lady Red Wings. Well, we said that coming in at North is very battle-tested, and they are. They have four losses this year. Uh, one of those losses is to uh, De Pere. Another one is to Milwaukee Vincent. Those are two teams ranked in the top, you know, two or three. Then they beat the sixth-ranked team, which is still in their only loss, Janesville Parker. They've also beat Oostberg, who's uh, oh, no, tough. Uh, in the top 15 in the state. Uh, so they have played some real tough teams. Uh, Pulaski is one of their losses. Very, They only got two losses on the season. Their other one was to Preble, who's fourth in the league. So uh, they are well prepared for uh, tournament action. I'll tell you who's well prepared for tonight is you. Oh. <laughs> Fairman, short jumper is no good. Bordeaux almost has it taken from her and then she travels on her way to the basket. Got a minute and 40 seconds in and uh, one basket so far, that by North. Rubley uh, didn't see a lot of action in the first quarter, no. Chris, with her two uh, early fouls. She's uh, starting the second half. She needs to be on the floor, no question. Dumped down to Puzzowitz. Has to kick it out, surrounded by Lady Raiders. And a good save. Rubley with a great bounce pass inside to Burkhardt for an easy two. That was sweet. South down nine, 32-23. And uh, south in a zone defense, Chris. Conway got it in and she's fouled. Having a great last north-south game. She's now five of seven from the floor. 13 she, points, chance for 14 here. She averages 7.7 uh, .7 points per game. She's uh, She has 13 right now. She's gonna double up on that average tonight. Finishes off the three-point play. That was in the paper. I don't know if your stats state that too, or do you have her for more points per game? According to the paper, Lauren Salzbrenner led the, leads the team with 9.8 yep, nine, points yep. per game. And uh, Conway was at 7.7. .7. Oh. Puzzlewitz's layup rims out. Tough break on that one. And then on a hell ball situation, South will get it back. I was just looking down at her free throw percentage, Alyssa. She's just at 48%, Woo. which I think would be uh, a lot better. I would think so also. Lizzie Free got that loose ball. Conway with a good arm down to uh, Bordeaux. Her shot is no good, and that's tipped out of bounds by Maletsky. 4.55 remaining in the third quarter. North on top, 35-23. Another hell ball. Back in 1965, uh, South was regional champs. They were led by junior guard Johnny Meyer. John was a, a holy name grad, played for uh, Don Monobach, same school and coach I played for when I was in eighth grade. Also on that team was Bill Simmons, lacrosse grad. Maletsky's put back is up and in. Buck is still in town. His son Chris played for South. 
Coach John Schumann not only coached from the bench, but actually participated with the squad in their workouts. That was back when he was a young guy. <laughs> now he enjoys golf more. Very second time out. Lisa Conway, good hustle move there. Hey, and we still got some more stories from the 60s. We got a boys game left. I know. Here, 1966, John Meyer set a record for scoring 36 points for an individual scoring in a North-South game. Now that may have been broken since 1966, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, Kevin Kober had that awesome night. Yeah, he had I, I'm not sure if he had more than 36. He was in the 30s for sure. Yep. He was just on fire. Yep. Policeman, Policeman now. now yeah. Waukesha, I believe. We're getting close to my year, 1968. But I went to North, so it doesn't count. Oh, good inside feed. Lacey off a great feed by Fairman. 39-23. And it's starting to get away again. And here's that oh. press. Fairman, good hustle. 41-23, it's an 18 point lead. I thought Fairman should have had that loose ball too. She must have been tired from shooting a layup. Rubley couldn't get it. And Puzzowitz with an accidental bump knocked Fairman to the floor. And that's uh, four, I believe. I got her for three. Let's see who's right. I hate that when that happens. Doggone it, right. Right again. Ace. But that's because I'm reading the 50 yearbook. Ah. <laughs> You're keeping track. Comfortable. Conway got away with a couple of tiny steps. Over to Lacey. No. Lacey with that shot. Yep, Lacey. Another senior. And that was a three pointer, by the way. Yep. Getting close to 10. There you go, get it in the middle of the floor, ladies. Sell cat it for a minute, dump down inside to Puzzowitz, her shot is no good. Got a little too deep, and uh, too many tall players around her. 21 point game now, North turning up the uh, heat. 250 remaining in the third quarter. Lacey's shot is no good, and then uh, Maletsky commits the foul on Puzzowitz and uh, doesn't agree with the call, but I think uh, Russ, uh, pardon me, Steve Steiner got that one right. I got a question for you, Marty. Yes. Where are the students? Uh, there's a lot of standing right below I us, know, actually. I but normally this section is full, and the south student section is down to about one. Norma, they're over on the left right, side. Yeah. They're in the middle section tonight, but very few. Actually, well, right below us to the right, as you're looking out your TV screen there, that's where all the North students are, and across the way is the South students. The South students usually are on the other end, like you mentioned. Normally, you can't even find a spot today. There's lots of spots. Shot by Free is good. A three-pointer. Missed that one. I mean, I saw the ball going. I just missed where her feet were. Spiesla does a good job of handling the ball for an inside player. Shot is no good. The rebound put back by Wyman is good. And that breaks the north run. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 point run, Chris. Finally broken by uh, the Lady Red Wings. We had mentioned in the first game it was a 16 pointer and there were a couple other minor nine point runs. <laughs> but uh, the point is, you know, those runs really are killers. Back in 1967, Steve Fisher broke the all-time Fox River Valley scoring 
record for one season with 380 points. That was in 16 games. His 49 points in one game in the regional tournament against Fond du Lac set a new record for South, breaking uh, Johnson Ellis's record. Uh, South was first in the FRVC with 1,070 points on a combination of 384 field goals and 302 free throws. Wow. That's, and that was before the three-point shot, too. Yep. A good inside feed, and the basket is up and good by Lizzie Free. Conway with an excellent pass. Free had the right idea, but got up on uh, Schaefer a little bit late to make the steal. Ugh. Spiesla, 18-footer is good by Andrea. Well, coming out at halftime, North basically decided we're going to put this game away early and uh, took it to South as the gap's widened. Uh, now 24. Conway got knocked to the floor hard but uh, did make the layup and she'll get a free throw. Having just a huge night. Six of eight now from the floor. Katie Dietz committing that foul. Let's jump over to 1968, my senior year. Uh, we had beaten South the first two games. And then uh, when it came to tournament time, uh, South leaped onto the tournament trail by upsetting North. 57, 55, can't be, but it happened. South captured the consolation trophy by defeating Beaver Dam. I believe that was at sectionals. Yep. Uh, they don't have this mention here. They should have this in here. Charlie Simon was all-conference player, and I believe he was first-team all-conference. He was uh, quite a ball player. Mentioned he had uh, over 30 points in one of those uh, sectional games. Pluckelman for two. Hasn't had a basket for a long time. Early in the second quarter was the last time she had one. Turnover for North. This is their 11th. 52-29, there's uh, just about a minute left in the third quarter. Buckelman gets away with an offhand shove. Ball is stolen away by uh, Maddie Bauer. Bauer taking it to the top. Uh, north in control. Salzbrenner down the lane, couldn't get the layup to go, and then over the back committing the foul was Riley Fullerton. down to 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. Puzzlewitz uh, shuffle the feet again. Just shouldn't happen. Keep that pivot foot down. 9.8 seconds left. Paris kicks it down. Oh, oh. Fullerton with a great pass over to Maddie Bauer for an easy layup. What a play that was. That was Salzbrenner, Marty, but that was sweet. Fullerton made the pass. Nope. Nope. Well, I could have swore she did. I mean, not swear, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Salzbrenner. Anyway, it was a good play. And at the end of three quarters of play, it's 54-29 north. Can I go down? family groups. I didn't think I would be comfortable, but I decided to try a meeting. The Al-Anon meeting really opened my eyes. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group meeting from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON. 
the inability to breathe, snot pouring out of your nose. It's a real hairy business. As a firefighter, I'm a student of the weather, and I've noticed that there's a change that's occurred in the last several years. We're having many more large and damaging fires. Sometimes thousands of fires will occur. If the climate changes and we don't have the water we need, California could dry up and blow away. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, we've just started fourth quarter action, and uh, we get a foul on Sheboygan North. Foul goes on Salzbrenner, that's her second. And another foul called. This one's going to go on Maddie Bauer. Did you know, Chris, that the name Fisher is synonymous with scoring points? Steve Fisher's brother, Peter, led all scoring while uh, shooting at a 44% clip and was voted MVP for South High back in 1969. Hmm. But I think his brother, Steve, still brags about him scoring more points. Won't let him live that down. Pete was a real good guy. Yes, he was. And he still is. Yep. From what I hear. Oh, nice inside feed. Shot by Salzbrenner is no good. She's hammered. She'll go to the line shooting a pair. Uh, in that third quarter, Chris was like, oh my. I showed him this quarter scoring. Norris scored 24 points in the third quarter to Salz, eight. And uh, that was a real killer. Well, they were four of 10 from the floor. Nine more turnovers for South. That gives them uh, 28. Sheboygan North, 18 for 44 from the floor. Uh, they were eight for 15 in that quarter, much better. They only have 10 turnovers. And uh, when you're committing three times the amount of turnovers, that's giving you less chances to score. And it's basically turned out now into a blowout. I just thought of some, you know, about, I thought Riley Fullerton threw that pass. She's number 42. I must be dyslectic. <laughs> Has 24 made it? Yeah. Selk on a nice move to the basket. Got it up and in. Wearing that number 22 jersey proud. 56 to 31. Inside feed. Fairman up and in. Fairman has uh, four points on the night. Lizzie Free has seven. Leading all scorers in the ball game is Alyssa Conway with 17. You always like doing these North-South games. Because you get to do an interview no matter no what. No matter what. Yep. Uh, good hustling defense by uh, Lisa Werner forced that turnover. She cut off the passing lane and uh, Spiesla couldn't keep her feet still. And we're into the 70s. Full time <laughs> out for North now. Uh, we better take a short break and pay the bills with our public service announcement. everyone living in the United States. It's an important job, and you can be a part of it. As a census taker, you earn good pay and work flexible hours, following up in person with those who didn't return their census forms. Call our toll-free jobs line or go online to get started. Call 1-866-861-2010 or visit www.2010censusjobs.gov. 1970, South placed fourth in the Fox River Valley Conference. Mike Weber was named to the first uh, team, all conference. He was also voted most valuable, most improved, and toughest rebounder. He was a man in there. And then we get a Trum mentioned. 
1970. Tom Trump named the best defensive player. Only one of the five starters was a senior that year. Joel Griesmeyer, Joel Griesmeyer was also commended for his hustle, team spirit, and dedication to the sport. Ooh, that was dangerous. We get a foul on uh, Sheboygan South. And uh, going to the line will be Lisa Werner, I believe. Nope, that's only the sixth team foul on South. Ball goes on Selk. And another whistle. Eric Hart, South, both freshmen. Starting to fill up a little bit now, Chris. How about another rebound there? Yeah, for Puzzowitz. Give her she have? seven. That's right at her average. Good kick up pass and Wyman with an easy two. Freshman. And we get a foul on Selk. Bordeaux shaking off the cobwebs. She got hit pretty hard. For uh, Kara Selk, that's her fourth foul. Lacey coming in for North and checking out is Lisa Werner. And a couple of young fans right below us. Lakeland College hat, Chris, that looks pretty sharp. Rubley on the push, stopped by Bordeaux right at half court. A right, good inside feed to Puzzowitz and Maletsky commits the foul. Jaslin will be shooting a pair. Coach Thomas always positive, despite the score. Knows he's got a young crew. Try to make good decisions, improve. As we mentioned before, many of these ladies will be back next year. That for Puzzowitz was her, was her seventh point of the night. And uh, she's having a real nice game coming off the bench. Conway kicks it up to Bordeaux. She got it up and in. Nice work. 60 to 34. Good save. And Tyler Thomas calls a quick timeout before any turnover happens. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Uh, next game should be a dandy. Well, it was real close the first time, Marty, till the fourth quarter when uh, I think the North boys cleared, cleared them out. 44-43 uh, going into the fourth and a 26-9 run by North. Had a victory by 18, so uh, it's a little bit different now you're in South House. We'll talk a little bit about their game a little bit later. I don't like the schedule. Yeah, wow. you, well, I got that in my notes oh too about boy. the eight-day layoff. You know, if that's going to... Good grief. Everybody else in the league's playing on Tuesday, Wise and South. I just... So many teams play and don't play, and it really bothers me sometimes, Marty. Little things like that bother me. You know what it's like? <laughs> we can't give this conference a break in their scheduling. I mean, there's <laughs> always something wrong. Yeah. Wyman with that basket. And we're just exchanging turnovers here. I can't even keep up with it. <laughs> Me either. Hey, you're not giving us any chance to uh, read out of the 50 year book, crying out loud. Although we're all done with the stories from the 60s now, it's all 70s and on up. Hey, we might be able to milk this for a couple more ball games. <laughs> Buckelman trying to get in the lane, but good defense by North prevented that. Kick out the Puzzlewitz from three-point land, nails one. Could be their, uh, just their second three-pointer made. First one by uh, South was way back early on when uh, they had Buckelman one made one. Early in the uh, second quarter, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. 
Maletsky over Selk, got it up and in. He's a good inside player. I think she wanted to go up and under, and when the under wasn't there, she just went with the over. Yep. Pazowitz feeling it. <laughs> Probably the best play made there was by Eric Wiesman to keep the ball from hitting the camera. <laughs> good job, Eric. You're the man. Everybody's got a spot. Everybody's got a roll. And his hat didn't move. Steve Reiner up here by us, playing it safe. <laughs> <laughs> Dumped down to Puzzlewitz, but uh, couldn't get it over Maletsky. I got a little theory Conway, on that. oh man, was that a pass. Got a little theory on that little uh, lob there. Yeah. But you didn't get Throw there. Throw it off the backboard? No, what, you, what uh, <laughs> Puzzlewitz has to do is seal her person right. there and then let the ball fall and you go and get it she moves so the defense got to move you hold your your uh, defender there then you go and get the ball but you moved and uh, Maletsky moved and there was a turnover okay hey, Puzzlewitz with two more rebounds yep gives her at least nine Selk puts it up and in all of a sudden everybody's scoring 64 41 north three just rolling down to the three minute mark Selk with a steal Ranks in conference, fifth in conference with uh, 16 steals. She has at least that one tonight. Buckleman threw it away. Behrman, get it to a guard. Bordeaux knocks the ball away but commits the foul. Puzzlewitz will be going to the line. I like our saying when we're playing, get it to a basketball player. <laughs> well, the middle sections, at least across from us, are pretty full. The uh, end two sections across the way are not very full. You can kind of see that on your monitor or on your TV screen now to the far left. Well, traditionally, the North South students are all to the left, kind of where you can see where there's yeah. a lady there in pink. But uh, they've they moved have been, them over. Yeah, I, kind of strange. They're right across from the North students. I don't know if that's so they can look at each other or other things. Puzzlewitz knocks home a pair of free throws. She has 12 points, leading the uh, Lady Red Wings. 2.47 remaining in the ball game. North up by 21. Conway with a long pass to uh, Lizzie Free. Conway's an athlete. South and a man to man. And uh, we get a foul on Emily Zernike. Bower and, and uh, Rubli in from north and south. Conway misses the free throw. Layup is up and good by Paris. 66 43. Schaefer clearing it out of trouble. Burkhardt looking. Woo, almost lost it here in the corner. Conway fighting and getting the hell ball and it's gonna be North with the possession. Back in 1973, South finished second in the conference. They beat North and Plymouth to bring home the regional crown, move them on to sectionals. Spiesla from in the lane, no good. And a deep pass. Look out below. 
Basket is up and good by Lisa Werner. Nine North players now have scored, Marty. Wow. Parise is uh, fifth rebound herself. Coming off the bench. Schaefer to Zernike. Her shot from outside the line is no good. And a nice strong rebound by Lisa Werner. So you've had a lot of nice passes for baskets by the Northsiders tonight. Salzbrenner from outside the line. Bango baby. They are clicking on all cylinders now. 71-43. Rolling down under a minute. Chris getting ready to uh, go down and get some interviews. Spiesla can't get it in. And we get a whistle underneath. Katie Dietz, number 20, checking in for uh, South. And coming back in is Riley Fullerton, number 42 for North. Gonna get a foul. I think it's gonna go on Fullerton, number 22, or pardon me, on Lisa Werner, number 22. Free throw by uh, Schaefer is good. That was her third point of the night. She's looking for number four. She's got it. Thirty-five seconds left. And committing a foul is Emily Zernicki. Lizzie Free going to the line. Free now with uh, eight points in the ball game. She's had a nice game. Puts home a pair at 73 to 45. Under 30 seconds, Rubley, kind of a wild shot, couldn't get it to go, and then we get a held ball situation, and North will get it back with 23.9 seconds left. A big North third quarter is what opened up a sizable lead. They outscored South 24 to nine, 24 to eight, pardon me. Werner for two. Zernike up and in. And that's the ball game. Final score, Sheboygan North, a big winner, 75 to 47. Gonna take a short break when we come back. Uh, hopefully Chris will have a couple of the uh, winning Lady Raiders and uh, I'll give you some uh, wrap up on the scoring and uh, we'll wait for the boys to start. So, where are you going out tonight? I can't, my parents say I have to be home right after work. <sighs> That's so gay. Totally, guys. Oh, that is so Emma and Julia. Why are you saying that's so Emma and Julia? Well, you know, when something is dumb or stupid, you say that's so Emma and Julia. Who says that? Everyone. Imagine if who you are were used as an insult. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. Hey, Travis. Get some friends, loser. Bro, you 
all right, man? Lean on me. Thanks. When you're not strong, and I'll be Character. Pass it on. I'll help you care. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help David and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org. All right, here we are with two uh, senior girls. I mentioned before, it's hard to believe you guys are seniors already. It really went fast. Oh, yeah, it went so fast. These years, they just fly by so fast. Yeah, I mentioned in the opening, it's hard to believe how quickly it went. You guys are seniors already. Let's talk about the game a little bit. You guys caused 37 turnovers. That's just great. Yeah, I mean, we're a fast team, and, you know, when you can just rotate like that and everybody fills in their positions, it's, it's easy to get steals. Well, that's just great. You know, and your defense then set up like easy baskets for yourselves as well. I think you had like nine girls score today. Yeah, that's great. I mean, we can get everyone scoring the team. I mean, we're playing real good ball. We love to get everyone involved. Well, we're going to take a minute. You guys stay right here. At this time, we're going to bring it back to Marty as they're introducing the 1962 South High team. They are taking the time right now to uh, introduce the uh, state tournament teams from uh, 1962 and 1985. <laughs> are the following players from that team. Introducing John Wyman, Gary Kempman, Ron Griesmeyer, Tony Kamor, Hubbard, David Weinsink, and John Sinalis. Let's give these players a round of applause. South High made the journey once again to Madison under the guidance of first, co first year coach Bob Ruskowski. The first leg of their journey to state began against their cross town rivals, the North High Raiders. Despite going into the Friday night game as the underdogs in the 92 Valley Champ, South showed that records don't matter when it comes to tournament time. South did not have the season long credentials to beat North but beat them they did 80 to 65. The following night, they fought hard against a tough Fond du Lac team with the scoreboard showing South 55, Fond du Lac 49 at the buzzer. The victory advanced the Redmond into sectional play with the next weekend. South traveled to West Bend to beat Beaver Dam, where they pulled away for a 59-44 victory and the opportunity to travel to Colf Fieldhouse in Oshkosh for the sectional final the next night. Playing in front of a packed field house, the Redmen were once again victorious, beating Oshkosh North 56 to 49. In Madison, the Redmen faced off against a tough Shano and were narrowly defeated 52 to 50. 
The Redmen had a great season and provided many great memories. Memory, members of the 1982 state qualifying team are Coach Bob Raskowski, Jim Gesh, manager, Brian Thiel, Dan Hiller, Scott Rostowski, Scott Raskowski, Benji Burr, and Keith Raskowski, Steve Siraki, Keith Leonard, John John Fister. Joining us tonight to celebrate our following are the following Some players the from of that, that 1982 team. state Chuck tournament Burr, team. Keith Leonard, Todd McLaughlin, Rob Schrader, Steve Tim, Eric Monahan, and Dan Murray. Let's give them a hand. The famous Murray a boys. Nice round of applause. For the His dad, Pat, played on that uh, state, state tournament team, team back in uh, 1962. We there you see the, the uh, members of those two state tournament teams from uh, Sheboygan South. Players and coaches from South High for all their time and dedication during the past 50 years. So now we're going to go down to Chris. All right, uh, let's talk a little bit again, Mickey. Uh, how's it been to be in these North-South games over your four years? What? What did you say? Uh, how is it to be in uh, playing these games, you know, North-South games, uh, after all these four years of playing and things? What are your memories of the North-South games? North-South, well, they're always fun no matter what. I mean, I'm going to miss the crowd, just the whole environment. There's nothing like a North-South game. You can't get that anywhere else. That's what I'm going to miss the most. Well, thanks so much. Congratulations. Hopefully we'll see you in tournament time. As I mentioned before, uh, for you, what has it been four fast years like this to play basketball here at North High School? You know, it's crazy um, looking up to the people like Dana Churchill, Kayla Touchlog. They're all telling you it goes by so fast and you really don't believe it until it, it just hit me at the end of the fourth quarter that this is my last one. It's pretty sad. Well, you saved your best for last. You had a bunch of buckets tonight. You, you really played well. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about the team now. Uh, you played some really tough opponents this year. This really should help you to close out the second half of the year and the tournament. Yeah, we believe that we can play with any team. We really can. We're the deepest team in the state, I believe, and everyone on our team can play. Everyone's getting steals, rebounds, points. It's even, you can tell it's evenly spread out, and I think we'll be good once the tournament comes around. Yeah, and I think playing the teams like Vincent and Parker will uh, will definitely make you guys grow later on. These are the They're a good team, and we played with them the first half, so hopefully we can do better next time. Finishing up with you, uh, how's it been for you for uh, these North-South games the last uh, couple of years? What's it like to play in this atmosphere? Oh, it's like you have the chills when it first starts out, but you finally get into it. It's like a rush when you score. You don't even know what to do. It's it's amazing environment. It, I'm so happy to be a part of this. Is it slightly better than being an announcer for us when we were with TV8 when you were a little younger? <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> well, congratulations to both you ladies, and... Good luck the rest of the season. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. Give you some final scoring from uh, the ball game tonight. Uh, Jaslyn Puzzowitz led uh, Sheboygan South with 13 points. Following her was uh, Kimberly Wyman with eight points. Andrea Spiesla had uh, six points. And chipping in with seven points was uh, Caitlin Pluckelman. For uh, Sheboygan North, Leading all scorers in the ball game tonight was Alyssa Conway with 17. Next was um, Nicole Maletsky with 11. Mickey Bordeaux and Lizzie Free had nine. Jenna Lacey had eight. Uh, great balance by uh, the North High squad tonight. At halftime, we had a pretty good ball game. It was uh, 30 to 21. North on top by only nine, but a big fourth quarter, a 24 to eight margin broke the game wide open. And uh, as I mentioned, South went on to a healthy win at 70, 75 to 47. With the win, Sheboygan North runs its record to eight and four overall, five and three in conference, while Sheboygan South drops to uh, two and 11 and uh, two and six in conference. With that, we're gonna take a short break and when we come back, uh, Chris and I'll have an opening for uh, this second boys game. There you can see uh, both squads out on the floor uh, getting ready for their uh, tip off.
Yeah, it'll be in about uh, 20 minutes. Day here. It doesn't come with peppers. They're extra. Hurry.